everybody, and on behalf of me and the leaf blow that has just started in the background as I tried to film this intro, I'd like to welcome you to the Day in the Life of Lockdown vlog. You guys seem to really enjoy these Day in the Life vlogs, and now that we're back in a third lockdown, I don't really have much else to do. I can't go anywhere, there's no competition vlogs, so I'm coming at you with another Day in the Life vlog, and actually today is a pretty good day. I have to disclaim these vlogs always by saying my lockdown days do not always look like this. There are days where I go to work, I have a nap, I hack two horses and I call it a win for the day. <laughs> but today is actually looking like a pretty exciting one. There's a really nice mix of working, jumping at you, riding the horses and some work with brands and social media, which you guys are always asking over on Instagram to see the behind the scenes, what goes on, like what it sort of takes to be, I don't wanna say like a YouTuber or an influencer, but you know what I mean, to do these things. Um, so yeah. I've actually got a collaboration coming up in this video with a brand that I have been so excited to tell you about. You've had a sneak peek over on Instagram. I'm still pinching myself over it, but that's gonna come a little bit later into the video. Now, I'm actually not filming this first thing in the morning. It's now almost midday. And that's because my morning started at 4 a.m. The joys. So let's just rewrite. <laughs> rewrite let's just rewind and i will take you back to this morning when i had to wake up 4am for work by 10 o'clock which is not bad the lighting here is very bright so i think i'll go home and i'll tell you a little bit about my job because i get asked about it so so much it's really not that interesting so i am back from work just pulled into the driveway and the sun is not scorching my eyes out anymore so i can actually chat to you guys properly i think the fact that i've worked five hours and got up at 4am is definitely showing on my face and hair so we're just gonna have to excuse that i'll get tidied up in a second and you will see why but what do I actually do for a job? I get asked this so much because in November I told you guys that I had a new job just over lockdown and during this sort of time to earn some money ahead of going to university next year. And basically I'm working at a supermarket. I'm sure if you're British you can probably tell from the uniform which supermarket that is. And I'm kind of doing all of the online shopping orders. So you place an order and someone has to pack them. So that's basically my job. It's not very glamorous. I'm really sorry if you thought it was getting more exciting, but it does that, it does pay those bills. And also I definitely recommend looking into it if you are trying to do what I'm doing, a gap year perhaps next year or a year off to focus on the horses, but also earn some money because I have worked in bars, I've worked in coffee shops and I've found them all very draining. I've found the late nights in pubs just don't really work that well with the horses. And actually, yeah, okay, it's horrible that I have to get up at 4 a.m. and start work, but I'm done by 10 a.m. So cut me off there, bit rude. But what I was saying is now I have the rest of the day free from 10 a.m. to do what I want, which will be playing ponies. I should also disclaimer this by saying on a no normal day in lockdown, I quite often go and have a nap now in an attempt to try and get some sort of normal sleep schedule because obviously waking up at 4 a.m. is uh, yeah, a little bit draining. But I am not going to do that today because, as I said at the start of this vlog, today is a pretty busy day. It's not necessarily a standard day, but it's a pretty busy one, a pretty exciting one. And I don't think you guys want to come and watch me have a nap. So we're not going to do that today. I'm going to power on through. I have something very, very exciting coming up now. Look at those two beautiful ponies in the field. So on the days that I work, mum very kindly puts them out in the field in the morning. They're currently in overnight on their winter routine. Right, I am back and I'm sure you're thinking, Flo, how are you looking worse than you did after a five hour shift? Like you've gone away, you've come back and you look worse. But guys, there is actually a good reason for this. There is, I promise. <laughs> I'm about to partake in filming my first ever real, I feel really old. I'm nearly 20, I'm gonna be 20 in April. I'm just not down with the kids anymore. I have never ever filmed a reel and it's a transition reel transition road this could take hours i've genuinely left an hour to try and get this done because i just know i'm not going to do the transitions they look so cool on tiktok and on instagram you see if you read them correctly do i have the skills for that i'm not sure but as you can see from the title of this video today i'm working with the wonderful fairfax and favor which 
it was a little bit of a pinch me moment. When I saw their name pop into my business email one morning, I could not believe it. I was in shock. I had to sort of like go away, come back, be like, is this real? Do they do they mean me? Because I'm sure Fairfax and Favour need no introduction to you. They are a multi-award winning British lifestyle brand. They are a mastermind with boots, short boots, long boots, sandals, pumps. They have it all. They've got the most gorgeous handbags. And so when they got in touch and they were like, would you be interested in, in filming a reel for us? I was like, um, yes I would. No skills of doing a reel whatsoever. We take that risk. <laughs> We're going to learn together. And I thought it would be really, well, good fun, maybe, maybe funny, maybe you can laugh at me. For me to show you the behind the scenes of filming this reel, you can see how long it actually takes versus I'm sure a lot of you could do it in a lot less time. I'm also going to go away after we film the sort of before bit and get a bit more glammed up and then show you properly what Fairfax and Faber have sent me. Nobody wants to see an unboxing with me looking like this. So I'm going to go away and come back and I'm going to share with you properly what I've picked out from the 2020 catalogue. And there was a lot of choice, but I really think that I've picked the right thing. I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. So. Mum and I are about to have a little scout around trying to find the best place in the garden for a nice cool aesthetic reel and then I'll show you the behind the scenes and we'll go from there. Okay so my hour to do this may have been an understatement I just filmed the uh the before part you know the easy part where I look bad and it took me half an hour so now I'm gonna quickly put on some makeup talk you through exactly what I've got and hopefully let's film this after part. I forgot how bad I was at makeup here's the after shot after my makeup nearly cried twice but we got through it straightened my hair not having, having a bad hair day but here it is hopefully there's a bit of a difference between the before and after shot now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for let's see what's inside this box <laughs> I was so spoiled for choice, there were so many different options to go for. I pretty quickly decided it was the Regina that I wanted, but I was quite torn between tan and navy. I decided in the end that navy was more my colour, but you can head to their website to check out all of the other colours that they have. I was also like, do I go for a short boot, do I go for a long boot? But like I said, they are so known for their gorgeous long boots that I just had to go with them. And I'm so in love with them. You can also get them in a heeled version as well. I'm a little bit clumsy, so I opted not to go for that option, but that's another option that you have. So definitely head to their website and check them out. For now, we are gonna try and get on and film this reel because it's minus two degrees outside and I'm freezing, but it's so worth it because I feel like a princess in these boots. <laughs> Fun, but I'm back in my horsey attire. I actually also took off my makeup. I felt that maybe mucking out in a winged eyeliner and then riding might look a bit weird. So I'm back looking uh, not so great <laughs> with horrible spots on my chin from wearing a mask. Anyone else struggling with that problem? Hashtag 2020 problems. 2021 now, crazy. Anyway, <laughs> I felt there hasn't been a lot of horsey action in this so far. So we're gonna just speed on through. I'm now about to do some mucking out and then I'm going to ride Lulu and then it's gonna be like a lunch on the go before we head up and jump at it, which is hopefully gonna be like the main activity in this vlog. Should be quite fun and fresh. However, I'm not sure if anyone has noticed my, uh, my background. Yeah, so the other day I put on my story a little photo of the building site that currently is our house, I will then explain. And everyone freaked out. Everyone was convinced that we were building an arena, maybe more stables. I even had someone ask me if we're building a cross country course. <laughs> no guys, I'm so sorry to disappoint. We are just building a basement, which sucks. I mean, seeing as we had the diggers here, surely it wouldn't be so hard to put in an arena. 
I think so. My parents didn't agree, but you know, watch those ads and I'll uh, build one myself. <laughs> I'm joking. But anyway, it's actually been such great desensitization, especially for Lulu only being five, she's five now, um, to have all this here. Digger's going all day and I've had to film this vlog on a Saturday, so there's no builders here. So yeah, it's certainly been an experience and there's going to be months and months of this to come, but I'm so pleased with how both of the ponies are taking it. They're like, yeah, that's just a digger. That's just a skip. I mean, we, so we had a whole building up behind there that's been demolished right in front of their eyes and they're like, okay. <laughs> anyway, enough chatter, time to get on with some jobs and then we'll go right at you. Well, would you look at that? Who'd have thought you might see some actual horses in this vlog? Not me. Unless you're not so much of them because they're walking too fast for me. But I'm on my way to Hack Lulu now. I probably won't show you much of that if I'm being completely honest. It's not particularly interesting. But this, this new lockdown in England has basically forced an involuntary hacking break for the girls as we have no arena and we're not allowed to travel to use one. I was literally about to stop after I put out these ponies and say how lucky I am to have two such friendly ponies as I went to walk away and they both followed me back over to the gate but the second I turned my camera on they both turned around and started eating so uh, I guess you just have to take my word for it. That is my glove. That's, that's my glove Lou. I'd quite like it back. Please. Please, can I have it back? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> right, I really never really filled you in on Lulu. She was really good. There's actually not much more to say. I just took her for a little leg stretch. I was only on her for about half an hour and she was good as gold. I've just finished tying up, oh, you can't see it, so what you can, their evening hay nets for when they come in. Oh, blinding myself. Um, and now I'm going to run inside and have a quick bite of whatever I can find because I do not have long and I realized I've kind of done the bare minimum I've not really shown you any of the mucking out and the water and the hay nets and that there's a reason <laughs> I'm not just lazy it can be really like therapeutic and soothing to watch somebody muck out if they get it right they get the right angles they've got a nice light stable but if not you're just watching someone do a job that you've probably done yourself that day and probably isn't that fun like I'm not gonna lie I did not have great fun skipping out stables in minus two degree weather so I definitely don't want to relive it when I'm relaxing and watching YouTube videos later. So on that logic, I've decided not to really bother sharing you that. But uh, you can take my word that I've uh, done it. And now it's time to run inside, get some food and get up to Atty. And I promise, hopefully, I shouldn't promise, that I've actually come up with a really good jumping exercise to do with him today. And I'm going to talk you through it in detail. You can have a go yourself. And hopefully it's going to just bring some more life to this vlog. In case anyone was wondering, this is my torn face because... I've just received a parcel and I'm not expecting a parcel like at all over the next few days so I've no idea what it is and I know that if I open it and show you guys I'm probably going to be running late but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go straight in, oh you can't even see my head, I'm going to crouch down I'm going to go straight in because I need to leave. I know what it is, I know what it is and I was like I wasn't expecting it, but it's a lovely surprise. Oh, I'm gonna have to blur out my address if you saw that. So, you may remember that a few months ago, I worked with the wonderful Zarina Equestrian, and they've since released a saddle pad and very, very kindly sent me one. So I actually won one of these in a giveaway that I held in September. It's gorgeous. I'm going to be very impromptu and bring it up with me. So that's really gonna start doing that now, isn't it? Great. I'm going to bring this up with me and pop Atty in it to jump today. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm so excited! Right, we're off to the yard, only five minutes late. Right, so the jumps are all set up as you will have just seen. I will talk you through the exercise in a minute, but hopefully it's going to go well because if it does, it'll be a really, really useful one. But I'm now just heading down the field to get Atty and I can see him. Now I've got about 10 minutes to get him ready before it's time to get on. Question is, is he gonna walk over? Atty! You're coming over here. And it's suddenly got, oh, oh, yeah he is. It's suddenly got really hot, but I'm not sure if it's just because I've been lifting fences. You coming? Nobby's coming. 
as she's thinking about it. It took some encouragement, but we've got him. One slightly annoyed looking pony. Whilst Ashley stands and admires the jumps that I've set up, I'll explain in a second, I thought I would uh, show off his beautiful new saddle pad. And we're in the arena having a look at the jumps and I thought I'd explain what we've got set up. We've got three bouncers here, well, two bouncers, two on a dog's leg, two strides, to two cross poles. And this is because in this arena, Ashley can sometimes sort of anticipate which jump is coming up, which jump is ahead of him. And so this way he can't really like overthink it because he doesn't know which one I'm gonna send him down. Um, if you want to try this one at home, definitely do, I recommend. Maybe if you have a slightly bigger arena or if you have more time to think about setting up, you could leave more space in the middle. That was uh, my mistake, but I'm really excited to see how he finds it. I hope that it could be a beneficial exercise for him, for stopping him sort of anticipating what's coming up next. Okay, so we're going to try and beat the sunset and start jumping now. To warm up, I'm going to use the two cross poles that I've set up instead of the bouncers, just cross poles in isolation. I basically use a bit of a figure of eight to jump them both on each ray and just get them warmed up and generally get that blood flowing. He thought he was going then. a little bit so that I have room to go to the middle and I'm going to sort of jump round it once more and that'll be it. working. 
it's home time just for the sunset back outside and time for the final push of the day before i'm inside that's the nice thing about winter actually is it gets dark so early that you can't really be outside after about five half five because it's dark but it's always made so much nicer when you've got a little pony waiting for you in the field bless her she walked over when she saw me come out of the house so i'm gonna go bring the girls in for the night but yes back from the yard and i really enjoyed the exercise i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and i definitely love to see some of you guys try it out for yourselves and let me know what you think so if you do try it don't forget to tag me on instagram or on youtube wherever you do try it um i thought it was really beneficial we didn't jump particularly big because it was actually quite hard work for him for me you've got to stay focused the whole time and it was definitely the right thing to move the jumps sort of half through session so that you had like a channel through the middle but it was great i really enjoyed it um and i think it really helped us achieve our goal of helping us to not anticipate the other nice thing about it is as well as being that one simple exercise you can also sort of mix it up a bit use the jumps at the top to just do some figure of eight circles like i did to warm up you could jump the bounce by itself yeah it's a really great exercise no matter where you are because you can put the jumps right down have them right up you can kind of adjust it to see your needs so definitely if you're stuck with something to do this lockdown because aren't we all give that little jump exercise a go it was really great fun i'll probably post some clips of me doing it on instagram as well so be sure to give it a go and like I said tag me if you do I just love seeing when you guys try what I do also because you tend to do it better than me like you tend to make these small altercations okay that's not the right word you tend to make these small alterations is that the word I'm looking for that I'm like oh my god that makes so much more sense why didn't I do it like that so yeah if anyone wants to adapt my exercise as well but for me personally I'm really glad that I did that and it will definitely be going on my list of regular exercises and I can't wait to try it with Star. What a lovely view. The sun setting and two gorgeous ponies. Bless her, Lulu's not quite got the idea even after all this time. She always walks down to the end of the field like where the house is because that's where I come out. She never really quite seems to understand that I always get her from this gate every single day. <laughs> sure if you can see but there we have it the ponies are all tucked up for the night and i can head inside out of the minus two degrees freezing cold weather but the grind does by no means stop there i often stop my day in the life vlogs around about here but i asked on my instagram story if there's anything more you'd like to see in my day in the life vlogs and everyone kind of said some stuff that isn't horsey and probably the second most requested thing I got was we wanted to see the like behind the scenes of YouTube and Instagram, like what I get up to and how hard that is to manage, I guess. So I'll be inside before five o'clock. I used to do all of my admin, my vlog editing, anything like that in the evening after dinner, starting maybe at about half eight, nine, and sometimes not finishing till quite late. But now because I work early, I really try and utilize my time more wisely, say so five to six, is a pretty good bog standard chunk of time to reply to any business emails I have, do some editing. Now, I'm by no means saying that I have an hour of that kind of stuff to do a day. It doesn't really come like that. Often all comes in chunks, like a couple of nights before my vlogs go up, I may have like two or three hours to edit, but in between them, I may not have much. Over Vlogmas, one hour a day was just not enough time to communicate with all the brands, edit all the vlogs, sort all the giveaway posts like it wasn't. It was like at least two hours a day, <laughs> but, now it's a little bit more quiet we're into january right if you've made it this final vlog congratulations you deserve one of flo's pro tips for life i'm going to put you on something you guys know how much i love starbucks i talk about it all the time i spend far too much money there and lockdown has not stopped me this bad boy is what i'm recommending in this part of the vlog this is a starbucks caramel syrup which i put in my hot chocolates and it's just amazing i cannot describe it to you guys I can't really sell it. I didn't have any salad taste via a YouTube video, but um, it's very good. It's not swan, but I wish it was. I'm still waiting on that brand of Starbucks, you know. Anytime, take your time. But it just makes everything so much sweeter, and I'm just so obsessed with it, and I just had to tell you guys about it because I love it. Um, whether that's in coffee or hot chocolate, it's, yeah, it gives me a little bit of my comfort even in lockdowns. <laughs>
because some Saturdays we get a takeaway and today we're getting Domino's. So I'm pretty excited about that. And my plans for the evening, other than eating pizza, is really to edit the reel from earlier on today. <sighs> Task ahead of me. <laughs> right, I may have devoured the pizza before I had a chance to show you. Oops, I was hungry. But it's now about half past eight and I am absolutely knackered. What a day it's been. I can't say this has been the most interesting vlog. I always get so, so excited to show you these exciting days but i feel like in reality it's more exciting for me than it is for you guys but i hope you did enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up maybe subscribe leave a comment below and i will see you very very soon